mention a, a, a couple of things that we actually didn't get to because this is not at all the end of the story. Yeah. Uh, you can use this to uh, measure the value of reinsurance, but then you can go beyond that and uh, work on allocating the value of reinsurance back to lines of business. It's a paper I just wrote, was published in, in IME, uh, and that's sort of like the, the end point of what I was trying to get to. Uh, I just want to plug that, um, and it's going to be a while before we can popularize that because we're still in the process of figuring out how do you actually implement it because it's, it's hideously complicated. Uh, but can, can we get a reprint of your IME article in a freely available CAS journal? Because isn't IME, uh, don't you have to pay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a, there's a You're version. welcome. Yeah, well, you can. Uh, we can I, try to add that. I can email you. Uh, if you ask me, I can email you. And uh, if you go to uh, SSRN, there's a version of it there that's freely available. Oh, okay. uh, the other things that, that we didn't get to, multi-year. How, how do you deal with multi-year issues? Because this is all simple one-year modeling. Uh, how does development go on this? Uh, what about firm value? Uh, that the idea that uh, at the end of the year, you don't close the books. And, and that, you know, the, the, the value of the firm to the shareholder isn't just what's left over at the end of the year. But the fact that you can go on and keep making profits over time. So how do you take that into account? The whole issue of capital. Uh, capital is a big mess here. The, I'm, I'm fond of saying that these, these pricing functions don't say uh, anything about how much capital you need. It, it's, the, it's a different question. You've got these two different questions. And do the two questions interact? So there's still room for research. I'm still going to be in business for a couple of years trying to figure this stuff out. Uh, we're not there yet. It's it's still a work in progress. But the good news is everyone knows without collusion that it's 15% ROE. Okay. Everybody good with that? <laughs> well, we're not colluding. <laughs> that was that was. I'm Steve Milton Hall saying this for the recording. Because <laughs> he's an academic, you know. He's right. <laughs> okay. It's my job to somehow wrap this up. <laughs> um, in my opinion, this is too important and too much to do in a CAS continuing ed format. It's too important. So what we tried to do was innovate. We used Stephanie to help us, and we, and we, and we tried to do a, concurrence, a series of linked concurrence. Probably this thing belongs, if anybody's ever done like the reinsurance boot camps, you ever done one of CAS, one of those, where they've done like an all day on reinsurance pricing? This probably requires and will, I believe, that's the way to deliver this. It, it is too important. We have built this on a series of foundational uh, works. The capital tranching paper that John and I wrote with uh, Avi Adler and Claude Bunich, uh, which really introduced the notion of Ray Rock, which gets you away from capital allocation. Uh, Neil Bodoff's work. Kent Ellingson, who was going to be our partner in, in delivering this, but got stuck on scheduling. He's at XL Catlin. Uh, Gary Venter's work from the 90s. Now, Gary's been doing this stuff, Rodney Kreps, and, and probably more I'm forgetting. Um, what is most important to us, I believe, is that you give us your feedback on trying to do this in this format and how to, how to do it better, what to supplement it with. We talked as a group, and we want to try to do something on Part 9 because there's too much stuff on par nine. How many of you were recently credentialed and are here to get your credential? Any of you? I don't know if there's any in here. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I apologize on behalf of those of us in the profession of, of the collection of papers we threw at you on this absolutely critical pro topic. I, I did a presentation a few years ago that was called Seizing the Reins. If you want to look it up on the CAS, I still think it's one of the best ones I ever did on this topic. It has nothing to do, there are no integrals in it, it says, in your company, capital allocation, in my opinion, is the perfect storm of enterprise risk management meets solvency two requirements meet, meets the use test of this, all this capital modeling investment. Here. Capital allocation is your risk preferences in, in material form. It drives planning, reinsurance purchasing, and so on. It is absolutely critical, and it's our job. And, and this is really, believe it or not, historic 
caliber work. You got to give us time to write it up more formally. These two are going to do the formal write-ups. My job is the translation. I already told you that, right? You know, but the, this needs to be written up, and we, we have to consolidate and, and encompass a lot of the stuff that's put on there on the current syllabus.